welcome to Moxie. I have some fun things I'm going to show you today. We're going to work on getting that spin going and hopefully keeping control of it. So the first way I'm going to show you how to get into that spin is going to be to start with one leg in. You're going to want to throw that hammock away from your body to kick a leg in. From here, we're going to take both of our hands, take them to our outside fabric. So if you let yourself find that outside of the butt cheek, trace it up, that's going to be that outside fabric. I prefer to have whatever leg is in that hand low. That way my outside leg, outside hand are the ones that get to come high and into the fabrics. What's going to happen here when we start to get a spin is we're going to want to make sure we are right underneath our point. If we are not underneath our point when things start, for example, we are back here and we try to start spinning these things, we're going to fly all over the room. And we don't want to do that. We want to be controlled floating. From here, we have one leg in, both hands are going to come over to our outside fabric. We're going to let ourselves open up the leg, take it wide. From here, we're going to think about already presenting that chest, starting to lift, pulling elbows in and down, and we're going to close the legs. Closing the legs here with a lean, that's going to help us to start that spin. If that still feels comfortable, we might get a little bit longer through the elbows, but keeping the chest and shoulders and lats nice and engaged. From here, we can take our free foot, starting to pick it up, taking it inside that fabric, leaning more towards our hip to help that transfer of the hands towards our seat. When we come out, Again, we can lean to one side, lift a leg, and we're back. When we start to get into really quick spins, we're going to want to make sure, first off, that we soften our gaze. If we are trying to focus on the room around us and we're trying to spot, it can make us a little extra dizzy. Your brain is already doing so many things at once with Ariel. When we start to go into spins, it's really important that we know how to be able to stop the spin. When we stop spins, often that's where we get dizzy. When we get dizzy, a lot of times it's the liquid in our ears that's rolling and rushing around. One of the ways we can kind of help to stabilize ourselves as we start is to either look towards our hands, they're nice and close, they're not running around the room as much, or to soften our gaze. Because if we're starting to look around and we're trying to spot for everything, the brain, it's already quite overworked with how many different moves and skills that you're trying to do. So we're just trying to keep that spin part of it a little bit of a blur. So you always want to make sure that we're setting our intentions to spin, that we are trying to stay focused. If we're not feeling well, this is often something that we might want to avoid. If we are dehydrated, we also might want to avoid spinning really quickly. It's important that we listen to our body and that you start your spins less and then add the more because it can be hard to stop them once you get them going. To start our spin today, we're going to start with a hand over hand baseball grip towards the outside of our fabric. I prefer to take now though my inside hand up just a little bit higher. One of my biggest tips here is that we want our fabric to chase us. It's going to make it a lot less work. If we're having to chase after our fabric all day, it can be a lot more in those hips. But if that fabric comes to us, it's going to require a lot less effort. We can pull it in, lift our leg, and it will find us. When it finds us, it'll help us to stay smooth and right underneath that point. When you're spinning, what's going to happen is when the body is far away, we're going to start to slow down. This is taking up space. When we want to speed up, we don't even have to take that leg in. We might just go into a ball. That will help us to speed up and slow down. Working on getting that spin slowed and sped up is always going to help us. Once we're into our fabrics, sometimes this is where things can get a little overwhelming. It's always okay to take those hands low, lean it back, and open those legs to help take up space to slow that spin. Whenever you're ready to be finished spinning, it's important that we don't just stop out of a little whirlwind. We can either take a toe down, trying to slow it down. We might just take our limbs long and keep floating until it starts to slow. But then we can take it out and the world won't be spinning around us nearly as much. Hopefully, not at all. Now I hope you go through and you start trying these spins from different grips of holding on to even an elbow. Pull that leg in and have a wonderful day. Keep working on those spins 
and we'll see you again next Wednesday.